question relative to Nick. What did, what did you take away from time with him? In other words, he, he, he's been doing this a long time, um, a tremendous amount of experience, certainly one of the most well-liked and well-respected, to use the word politicians, that you come across here. Um, when you, you know, think about him, what, what is one thing in particular that you're like, say, I, I learned from him how to do this better or different, would you say? Well, Nick was really a true statesman in every sense of the word. He was intelligent, he was thoughtful, and I thought he was really funny. He brought a sense of humor to the job. It was sort of a droll sense of humor. But the thing I liked about him most was he approached issues head on. He loved politics. And I know politics is a dirty word right now, but uh, he embodied all the best of politics. He loved being in the community. He loved going to the rubber chicken dinners. He loved meeting with people one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, every morning when I would come into work, I'd see him at Cafe Umbria meeting with somebody new. He loved to interact with the public. And I think the outpouring of love that people are demonstrating right now uh, is emblematic of the fact that he spent a lot of time being part of the community. Nick was somebody who brought the word compromise back in a really positive way. You know, in this divided nation today, compromise is seen as a negative. Nick understood that in order to get things done in the context of this form of government, you had the compromise, you had to listen to other people, you had to include other perspectives. And sometimes you had to give a little to get a little. And he was very good at that. And I watched him do that and I learned from him being able to do that. So as I think about my future here at City Hall, I think the indelible impression that Nick has left with me is number one, take that time to really enjoy the small moments, even if it's over a rubber chicken dinner, and take that time to really interact with and get to know the community. And on the other hand, work as hard as he did towards compromise to get things done. He was really good at it. He was a master of the game. And while he chose to spend his career here at Portland City Hall, he could have taken it anywhere. He could have done anything, including being a United States Senator or a cabinet member or anything else. He was that skillful, but he chose to spend it here because he loved Portland and he loved Portlanders. And that speaks volumes about who he is. And while we're, we're all sad about him being gone, um, and we are, and we're sad about the way in which he was taken from us too soon, but the reality is his legacy is going to endure here for a long time to come. Well said. Um, one other uh, area is, and I was looking in the future, a couple key issues. Parks Bureau, um, you know, he, he knew that. They've got the big, you know, six million dollar plus deficit. Um, what's going to happen with something like that? The other issue too is residential infill where, you know, you had his support, you know, on that and that vote's coming up. So just th with those two, I don't know if there's anything else, but especially with Parks being in trouble right now and trying to do what needs to be done to get the money to, you know, have it be, you know, upright. I promised Nick before he passed away that I would take care of his staff and that I would take care of his two bureaus. He has the Bureau of Environmental Services and he has the Parks Bureau. And I promised him that we would continue the hard work he's doing in both of those bureaus. Those bureaus are working together. We still have the super fun cleanup that we're doing on the lower Willamette River. And I gave my commitment that we would continue to push forward on that aggressively. And I also gave him my commitment that this council will work hard to address the financial issues in the Parks Bureau. That's really important to all of us here. And he started that effort, will continue that effort. And I'm in meetings right now with his team's leadership to talk about how we best manage this process going forward. What about residential infill? You sort of need them for that vote, or at least well, you did. <laughs> you know, honestly, in the last few days, we haven't been spending a lot of time counting votes around City Hall. Uh, we've frankly had more important things to address. Um, but we're, we're going to have to take a look at it. I think we still need to move forward with the public process around residential infill. We still need to meet with the community. We still need to hear people's perspectives. There's still an opportunity to shape those proposals in a meaningful way. And we're going to keep pushing forward with that community engagement process and see where it leads us. Any other areas that you think, oh, I, I really, 
I really wish she was here for, for help on, on, on you know, an issue or two in particular. Yeah, Nick founded the Housing Bureau. It was originally part of the old Portland Development Commission, and he brought it out of the Portland Development Commission and made it a standalone bureau because he understood that people who uh, were of moderate income or people of lower income needed to be able to have housing in our community. He understood that people who, who do the hard work, the hospitality jobs, the restaurant jobs, teaching, policing, that the people who do the work in this community deserve to live in this community. And he believed that if the Housing Bureau was standalone, it would have a better chance at working with private sector and institutional partners to be able to achieve that vision. And that's something where um, his voice will be very much missed. I'm currently the Housing Commissioner but I often sought his advice and his counsel on how he thought we should move forward. And he made a lot of good suggestions, including our new focus on permanent supportive housing to get the most chronically homeless folks off the streets and connected to services. Um, so I'll, I'll miss his good counsel and advice.